Okay, now I want to get into the rigging tools. Um, there's really not that much to go through here. Um, I'll explain why in a second. Um, the attach deform and detach deform uh, tools correspond to the attach and detach from the BIP selector. Uh, the BIP selector actually I think is better um, because I, I've updated it a lot more there, but I will update these as well in the future. All you'll have to do is replace them. Um, but in order for me to show you some of these other tools, I'm going to have to create a bone chain. So I'm going to do a paint select here, and I'm going to create uh, an HI bone chain from the selection. Let's make these a little smaller, like so. Okay, so there's my bone chain. You can see it still has the name from the other tutorial video. Say done. I can delete these now. I'm going to do a quick hold so I can get back to this point. So now I can start adding controllers to this. Um, you know what? I need a longer chain. I just realized. Okay, so let's do it this way. Uh, I can do it in a straight line if I want to, but I think it's better if I do it like this so you kind of see you know, how easy it is to do multiple objects. So let's go ahead and create that again. You may have seen me do that real quick. The reason is that was the last command I used. That's why I love quad, so I can do my right click and just click there again and I get that tool again. So that's why I love quads. That's why I always have everything on my quads like that, like that, my skinning, you name it. Uh, uh, let's see here. Okay. So now what I want to do is let's say, for example, um, let's do this. Okay. Because I want to show you something. Alright, now let's say I want to wire all these to one controller. Okay. Um, I'm jumping ahead here, but it's okay. Uh, let's say I'm going to go ahead and select all of these right here. You see the ones I have selected. And I'm going to say I want to wire the chain rotations to a control object with controller. Um, Direct meaning each one is going to rotate the exact same amount. So I just double clicked on it and it brings in this controller. I can go ahead and size it and I'll change the thickness. I can change the color of the controller and the color of the bones. They're going to be a gradient. So I usually try to pick the same color and then I'll just say done. Uh, and then since there's no way to attach in Max Script automatically, <laughs> you have to then select the other parts that you want and then right click and the command is now complete. So now when I rotate this, you'll see that they all rotate the same. Let's do it like this. Okay. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing, except this time um, I'm going to wire the chain rotations to the control object with controller. Now you'll notice the word direct is not in there. That means they're going to basically the further out you go the more it will rotate. So like if you look at a tail coming out of a dog <laughs> not coming out of a dog. If you look at a tail you notice that the very first part of the tail doesn't rotate as much as the end can. That's what this will help you do. So we'll double click that and we'll just roughly make this the same size really doesn't matter. Okay, we'll make this one green and green. Say done. Now, we'll go ahead and attach these. Right click. Now, when I rotate this, you'll notice that the first link isn't rotating very much in comparison to the last link. So if I grab both of these and do this, you'll see the difference in how they rotate. So that you have that flexibility. Oops, sorry about that. You have that flexibility of doing it either, you know, with one object or direct so that all the rotation is, is represented by how much you rotate. Or you can have it offset so that, you know, uh, it's a little bit more realistic. Okay. And you can do X, Y, and Z. I've got, you know, rotations or you can do X, Y, X, Y, and Z. Okay. Now let me go ahead and fetch real quick. Okay, and that's not what I want. I should have held it. This time I'm going to create a pretty long chain. I'm going to show you why. Okay, let's say 20. All right. All right. So let's do this. Let's create.
create a bone chain through that and say done and delete those objects oh, man. let's do it an angle so I can get a little closer all right all right so now the difference here is I'm not going to do all of them in one I'm going to say let's take all of these I'm going to do that let's say 10 and like that okay so now I can rotate and you'll see it's only affecting those that are highlighted or colored you know have color so now I'm going to select the next group which is going to be a little bit smaller I'm going to run that script again okay let's make these blue just so that they're different so it's obvious what's going on this time I'm just going to right click okay this shows you that okay now I can go ahead and delete these and only this is going to be my control object okay so I can lock it so it only works in that direction or you know it still works it's just I just visually wanted it not to show all of them so I'm going to select three and five point one yellow okay and go ahead and attach all these all right I'm going to select three more and do it again 5.2 doesn't matter <laughs> red done okay and because I don't want this video to take too long and go ahead and select all the rest of them and put those on another one okay 5.2 magenta done okay now the reason I did that is rather than having one controller for this whole chain I can now isolate the, con the rotations between the different chains as you can see the cool thing is I can grab just these controllers right here like so right and this is the trick you gotta make sure you're in pivot center okay use pivot point center and I can do all the rotations together like so okay so I can select just one object or I can select them all and, and completely you know rotate oh wow that's actually pretty cool all right. as you can tell I usually do things pretty off the cuff and don't plan them when I do my videos um, at least not usually when I'm doing quick stuff like this but this just gives you an idea of how you can use this okay and that's that's that um, wire rotate XYZ rotations half they're all pretty obvious as to what they do um, that's pretty much it for those um, you'll see that there's a lot of other tools here that I'm going to show you just give you a brief explanation